Now to our other top story. While a Norfolk family slept, their home went up in flames. The fire claimed the life of an eight-month-old baby boy. Crews tell us the call came in just after six this morning on Little Bay Avenue on the Willoughby Spit. We've learned two adults, along with a baby boy, were inside the home at the time of the fire. That boy's mother, according to fire officials, did attempt to rescue her son, but heavy smoke and hot flames prevented her from going back into the home. We could see the fire over the trees, not just the smoke. At this Willoughby Spit duplex, now just a burnt skeleton, neighbors are remembering an eight-month-old baby boy who couldn't be saved. I can't even imagine losing a child or a baby. Smoke coming through the roof prompted neighbors to call 911. Strong flames quickly taking over. It was pretty aggressive. This was not a small fire. Firefighters working in below freezing temperatures Saturday morning. The first floor of the duplex destroyed with significant damage upstairs. We could tell it was going to be a hot fire. Cindy Fan lives more than a block away. Heavy smoke from the fire poured through her windows, but tonight she's counting her blessings. I'd rather have a little bit of smoke in the house than, than have to have lost everything here and lost their baby. And I really feel bad for them. That, yeah. These are the charred remains left over from this morning's fire. Neighbors tell us the flames were shooting through the roof. So hot it melted the siding off of this apartment complex next door. I know the guy that lives next to us across the way he said the, the condo shook when it, when some, whenever the flames started this morning. Paul and Jocelyn Pearson came home this morning to the damage. They say while they didn't know their neighbors, it's a life cut short, too short. And it hits all too close to home. That's tragic. You know, you know it definitely puts life into yeah. perspective. Our little bit of damage, that's nothing significant. We'll be able to get that fixed. And that's our Joe Fisher reporting. Now, the Norfolk Fire Department does say there were multiple space heaters being used inside that home. Although how the fire started is still under investigation tonight. Joe did ask if the home had working smoke detectors, but was told that's part of the ongoing investigation. Now, fire crews do have some safety tips for people who use space heaters. Remember to keep that heater at least three feet away from anything that could catch fire. Also, keep the heater away from any combustible materials. Remember to turn off that heater when you go to sleep. Never leave it unattended. Also, remember not to overload any of your electrical circuits. 